Buenas tardes. Policías asesinos, fuera. Policías asesinos, fuera. Policías asesinos, fuera. Policías asesinos, fuera. Killer cops off our streets. 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 No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No racist police. All right. Now, you know the slogans that we just said, in the view of especially politicians, especially those organizations that have become professionalized. And what we mean by that, it's been reiterated several times already. The professionalization of activism is a, a big wall that we must hurdle as a community. 40 years ago plus, the state, the same organization that funds this monstrosity here, thought, how is it that we can control the population that was uprising? How is it that we can control organizations such as the Brown Berets, such as the Black Panthers? First of all, they launched a war against our community, a war that has not ended. You know, a lot of people say, whoa, whoa, what do you mean a war? What do you mean by militarization? First of all, the first stage was to execute and kill our leaders, many of our leaders. You know, we're talking about Fred Hampton, countless of Black Panthers that were murdered, countless of Black Panthers that are still behind bars, and Brown Berets. Just a few miles down the street here, the Los Angeles uh, Sheriff's Department assassinated several Brown Berets, including, including Lynn Ward and Angel Diaz. A lot of people don't know that. So, long live the Brown Berets. So, that, that took place, right? The, the uh, execution and the incarceration of our leadership. Then they came in and co-opted social movements, they call it, right? So you went from talking about revolution to uh, reform. And a lot of organizations that, for example, collaborate with the Los Angeles Police Department, we need to call them out. We need to call them out. We need to say, look, there's a difference between a, a community that is independent and it's its own political force that forces the hand of the politicians and the Los Angeles Police Department to make changes than an organization that has a dialogue with the police department. What are we going to dialogue with the police department about? You know, to use uh, bullets that aren't, you know, uh, body piercing, you know, uh, tank bullets, you know, how as they say, use smaller bullets. What does that accomplish? Nothing. Nothing. So, I want to make a shout out really quick and ask, is anybody here a family member of somebody that has been killed? Your, what's your, you don't have to. So we, we have community members in the last several years, the family themselves, because they turned and there was very few organizations out there that were taking that leadership and taking it to the streets. The family themselves started taking the streets. The families themselves, our community ourselves, started building our own community power. That's, that's where this movement has come from. The movement, the strength, is from those organizations that are independent of these establishments and are working with the community. We talk about militarization of the community. What does that mean? The strategy, the tactics, the approach of how our communities, we're talking about black and brown communities, we're talking about our gente in the barrios and our people in the hoods are treated a whole different way than other communities, rich, affluent, 
white communities. We have to say racism exists. When was the last time that you heard that a police officer, a cop, a murderous cop, was doing 25 in life? Never, ever, ever. 98% acquittal rate. 98% acquittal rate. 98% acquittal rate. The, the killing of our community, black and brown bodies, our blood being spilled on these territories, will not end until we put those killer cops behind bars. Gerald, the killer cops. And they come in and they say, well, why don't you have a dialogue with the Los Angeles Police Department? Why don't you have a dialogue with the mayor and the city council? Look, our demands are clear. We don't, there's no need for a, a dialogue. Our demands are already there. Jail the killer cops, right? Put a community controlled police board, not a commission that only has, I don't know, what can they do? They haven't put anybody, any of these cops behind bars, have they? So we gotta, we have to work on that. So right now, the war continues. The war continues in the way they break down our doors and how they approach. Look what happened to the, the young brother in Baton Rouge. He was uh, complying. He was open carry. A person in a state that has an open carry and a weapon and if you're black, it's going to get shot. If you're white, they're going to say, hey, come on. Hey, come on here, let's talk. Yeah. And they, they, they're they friends. Right. This is deep-rooted racism. Deep-rooted racism that we're fighting about. And what maintains that is the difference between the workers and the poor working class people and those that are ruling. So the ruling class is our enemy. The ruling class is our enemy. And it doesn't matter if they put a black or a brown face in the right place to trick us, to trick us that we've progressed when the conditions from 60, 50 years ago are worse than they were today. They're, today they're worse. So that's why today as another Mario, we said, you know, not, there wasn't much happening here in Los Angeles to make a call out to unite all the forces, independent forces, to come out and protest in solidarity with our brothers and sisters that are uh, taking it to the streets, that that are, are not giving up. The last thing is this. Jackie Lacey, right? Yes. When was the last time that she prosecuted any uh, police? Right? So I'm going to end by saying one more time that the issue here is if any of us here went down the street, went up to somebody and shot them dead, we'd be in jail for life. So why is it that a badge, you know, they, the police have this, uh, at least here in the state of California, have a police bill of rights. Right? Where they're protected and they're immune and they can walk around with impunity. That's why they take those shots. That's why they shoot our people because they know what's going to happen. The DA is not going to prosecute them. The commission here is not going to do anything. Then you go to a civil trial and I, if, if anything, you know, they're handing out a lot of blood money. A lot of our families are given a number. 700,000, a million, two million. Our lives are worth more than that. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No racist, police. No justice, no peace.